Several thousand acres of land in Franklin County could soon be returned to the Aquasasne Reservation. Our Alec Lasham discovers how a new law could end an old dispute. One step closer to a final agreement in a centuries-old land dispute between New York State, Franklin County, and the St. Regis Mohawk Tribe. Tribal leaders with the Aquasasne Reservation first filed a lawsuit against New York State in the 1980s, alleging an illegal sale of several thousand acres of land to the state in the early 19th century. After years of litigation, negotiation talks, and lost revenue for Franklin County, North Country Assemblyman Billy Jones says a new law will bring all parties closer to rectifying the issue. This is a significant move forward in this process. It uh, creates a framework of a settlement that the uh, the governor can now uh, negotiate um, with uh, with all parties. The potential agreement means land in Bombay, parts of Fort Covington, and elsewhere in Franklin County could possibly be returned to the tribe. The final number that was decided on for the ability, oh, that's just the ability for the tribe to buy it, basically. Um, and. Uh, you know, as uh, several thousands of acres. To address concerns in Franklin County, Jones says lost property tax revenue on land that is returned will be covered by the state. In a statement, St. Regis Mohawk Tribal Chief Michael Connors says there are still many steps to get to the final resolution, which is to get land back and increase Aquasazi's land base for our children and grandchildren. A spokesperson with the tribe adds that while the new law is not perfect, tribal leaders are satisfied. It will allow the governor to negotiate once the settlement is approved by the tribe, Mohawk Nation Council of Chiefs, and the Mohawk Council of Aquasasne. I don't think anybody walks away from a negotiation with their hands raised and, you know, we got everything. No. But certainly has uh, it's a step forward in settling um, what has been a long uh, arduous process. However, Jones and the tribe acknowledge the final agreement will also need approval from Congress. In Plattsburgh, Alec Lasham, Channel 3 News.